Hi, my name is Tia, and welcome to Tia the Movies. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best. How are you guys? What's up? What have you been doing lately? Come on, leave a comment down below and share this with me. Anyway, guys, I just came from work and I'm very busy. But you know what? I have so much energy to watch the TV series that you guys request. I'm here to continue to react the Pacific. Now, guys, just to give you a short recap about Season 1, Episode 2, if you remember, Sergeant Barcelona or Captain Barcelona and Private First Class Lecky, together with the 1st Marine and the 7th Marines, you know, they continue to defend the crucial airstrip of the Guadalcanal in the Solomon Island. And what I like about this is that Barcelona, guys, he played an important role in repelling the nighttime Japanese attack. But, you know, he caused a lot of personal loss. Like his friend Mani, he died during that attack. So not good, you know. But anyway, after four months, they managed to continue fighting with the Japanese. But they're very exhausted. But eventually, they've been pulled out and brought to melbourne australia so i'm very excited now to watch the episode three so guys if you like to become a member of my community please consider clicking the join button which is just beside the subscribe button come on <laughs> over come on over baby also if you like to follow me on social media please use the link which should be on your screen now so let's watch the season one episode three of the Pacific. So this is the part where they've been pulled out from the Solomon Island and they're heading to Melbourne, Australia. What the hell is this? Their hero! Seems the Australian are waiting for them. Like superstar. Must be a good feeling. I think a good leader doesn't reveal how many numbers you kill. Looks like a football pitch, a stadium, a cricket stadium. Definitely, it's a huge field. Attention in the area. All arriving personnel. This is your building area. You'll be directed by your company. So they'll be based there for how many days? If I were them, I'd have a good sleep. Definitely just to recover. Can they do that? Everyone's going AWOL, nobody's stopping them. Oh, I've got to be a part of this. Exactly, this is the time to relax and enjoy. If MPs don't care, why not? Yeah. Whiskey? More beer and alcohol. Definitely. Vodka. Rye. Brandy. Oh, that's too much of alcohol now. A mix of everything. And you call that? A blockbuster. <laughs> You're sure gonna be troubled tonight, Koba. That would be a bomb. <laughs> they won't be able to, able to go home. Oh, to the friend who just died. Poor money. Are you supposed to be in Africa fighting Rommel? Oh, somebody has to keep the pace at home. Let you Yanks get your proper R&R. &R. Oh, this is a dig in. Ignore. I'm guessing this is one Yank we don't have to worry about. Either. This Australian is annoying. Oh, disrespectful. <laughs> okay, okay, that's it. You're yeah, right, you're all Tommy Mixer safe today. They'll be in trouble for that. They don't want to go to prison. Let us buy you the next round of drinks. Otherwise, what kind of host would we be? Exactly, be kind to the American soldier. They just have a, you know, had a bad time. Give them a break. Hello, beautiful. Visitor down under. Speak the same language. <laughs> Obviously, it's English. Hey. Oh, Lucky's eyeing someone. Remember, you have a girlfriend in America. Don't tell me he's gonna follow her. You're proposing already, yeah. I'm proposing that you take a walk with me. You never know what the future may bring. You're too drunk to walk with. The man is not impressed. Let's see you in the light of day. 
Wow, she's gonna give her address. That's so quick. Lucky get lucky. He doesn't know what he is he's gonna expect. Gonna be good. I'll say. Shh, you're quiet. That's a huge amplifier. Oh no, annoying. Definitely if I'm in that situation, I'll be like, stop it. I need my sleep. Oh, they too drunk to stand still. I bet you they're gonna fall. Oh, see what I mean? Stumbling around camp like the town's stiff is not acceptable behavior. You are about to be awarded the Medal of Honor. What? That's a high honor. This is the highest honor that our country can award a serviceman. So from now on, you try to act like it's yours. That's a big responsibility, especially that he is a captain. You need to, you know, be a leader. Article 1, general provisions, hands off the merchandise. You memorize this? See, I'm the merchandise. Who's the merchandise? You? <laughs> That's right. Take your time. Get closer. Oh, come on, Captain Basilon. You're not following orders. You should be a leader, an influencer. You need to behave. Marine in this place is AWOL. Say that's why they're here. Oh, you need to run. That's misconduct. Stealing an MP's Jeep, are you kidding me? Oh, hop in. You can't do this, John. Not now. I okay, agree with you. You lost your award and at the same time you may be demoted captain not a wise thing to do sergeant john Bessalon is hereby awarded the medal of honor that must be a good feeling of achievement your parents will be proud sergeant Bessalon. Right. for sure his company is very proud as well this man, he leads. Don't tell me she's heading to Stella. Fantastic. For sure, Stella will recognize that flowers. No effort in buying. This is a yank. <laughs> Skin and bones. Like a skeleton. Huh? Like a rail. They're very excited to meet him. Oh, he probably didn't expect it to meet the entire family. I think Lucky is just up to the girl or Stella. Hi, please check out our channel membership options for exclusive reactions such as the Sebo, Petrot, and more being added every week. I'll start cleaning up. Yeah, you see? Good girl, my Stella. Good Greek girl. So it's a Greek family. So they're immigrants in Australia. By the time I met Nicola, it was almost too late to make babies. Yeah, not that we didn't try, eh? <laughs> For sure you did. <laughs> uh, Stella, get the bed ready in the spare room, please. Yeah, okay. uh, I can't do that. You will make this your home. No way. These parents are like pushing their daughter to this man. Very liberal. Oh, lucky get lucky! She's all over with lucky! I bet you this woman will be impregnant! What about the girlfriend in America? Who did your brothers go into the service to get away to? One of my brothers was too old. The other died when I was a kid. Oh, so there's a big age gap. Probably that's why he did not say goodbye. OMG, he's into this family. Literally as if like he's part of it. Helping the course. Maybe he's thinking that he wants to marry this woman too. Or have a start a family. We really don't know. She looks like an ideal wife. Well, it's a hell of a lot easier to raise money when there's a face behind and a heroic story attached to it, like yours. So who would be Mr. Barcelona is the face behind? Selling U.S. war bonds is just as important, 
just as life-saving as what you did on Guadalcanal. What? That's a good news. But there's a price for that. He need to sell the story for sure to get the sympathy and support and funding. These are all tacticals for sure. <sighs> This to never stop! They're so public display of affection. I can't get a leg of land, but you do. Well, American ingenuity and a few packs of Lucky Strikes. <laughs> of course, it's a military supply. <laughs> is this a Greek way of mourning? Just wondering what is the difference between the other... Um, country or religion but definitely they all wearing mostly are wearing black it's not good bob mama's still up he's waiting uh-huh he won't get lucky this time we need prayers how are we going to make it through these years if we don't pray prayers can move mountain miracles can happen I am going to pray that you come back to us. Oh, the family is into him. I think the mother likes Lucky for the daughter Stella. So it would be heartbreaking as well for her if something happened to Lucky. Let's get your squad going. Pack up that gear. Let's go. What you thought Uncle Sam was going to pay for your great deed box forever? Oh, they need to prep. They need to going back to the war. Exactly, toughen up. Not too much drink and booze and whatever activities. Target in sight. Yeah, watch him miss. Oh. Do it. Come on, Gibson. Come on, Gibson. Oh, oh, God, come on, oh. well, don't. Not the cow. Oh, this is not right. It was going to be steak anyway. Not if it's a dairy cow, you idiot. <laughs> Good shot, Gibson. <laughs> exactly. That's. Farmers, these are important to the farmers for the milk. You will march the 100 miles back to Melbourne and be in the arms of your Aussie girlfriends in three days. That's a hard work of march. You'll be blister. Oh, that's a good preparation for the war, but at the same time, ah, injured for sure. Uh. Oh no, Lucky is limping. That's a lot of injury. Oh no, break the blister. That's more worst. You were not able to wear the shoes. They're not even start with the war and it looks like they're injured already. I don't know if this is the right decision for training not a military person but seems like so wrong you why so depressed woman i don't want to have a baby with you that's mean you just have sexual relationship with him no. bob you and i aren't going to have a family and we're not going to get married and you were never coming back to Melbourne. She's lying. She's probably pregnant. Who the hell are you to say that? You're dumping me because you think I'm gonna get killed? Pretty much. That's what she's doing. I don't just lose you. Mama does too. I can't do that to her and I won't let you. You don't have a say in relation to that girl. She's being selfish. Definitely. <laughs> I sent her one. It's right here. Now, instead of being happy, look, he's sad. Very mean, you, Stella. Seriously, I got a piss like terrible. You got to cover for me, okay? I can't. Drunk as a skunk. One minute, one minute. That's all I need. Come on. Oh no, he, he should not take that. He'll be in trouble. He's drunk. If he caught, oh, prison, prison time. Lucky, what are you doing? He's just covering. Are you? I'm the fucking guy on guard, you dude. You put a fucking Maybe I did. Ken and I went for a quick piss. Lucky was just covering. Fucking. Oh no, he's trouble now. He's so upset that bloody Stella, you see. This is your fault. No, no, no. Don't sit on the 
You're supposed to have an inspiration in the war. Now everything is messed up. Oh, women really mess up your head. Looks like someone's hunting for you, cover. That means he's going back to the base, definitely. This is goodbye. That's it now. Back to the war. Uh. At least they've been released from prison. Lieutenant Lebec has got the platoon now, and I want him to inherit a solid outfit, so I volunteered you for reassignment to the battalion intelligence section. And what lucky doing there? Is that an easy job? Is it a hard job? Oh. Is that the motion? I'm not sure though. Ooh, the two! What are they up to? I thought this woman is off limits. A kiss! The two! Ah, this is a goodbye, love. Hopefully, he'll come back. That's it now. He'll get lucky as well. Is Hero coming with me? Oh, it's a goodbye from a friend. I hope they'll see each other again. Oh, lucky you miss Stella for sure. he's back in United States and he need to lobby for support supplies ammunition guys that was season one episode three of the Pacific so what do you think about this episode three guys I need your opinion so please don't be shy leave a comment or feedback down below you know guys your comments are so important to me but anyway guys this episode 3 is super like because Captain Barcelon together with Private First Class Lucky and the rest of the comrades or Marines you know they've been fighting so hard for four months in Guadalcanal but then they've been eventually pulled out and end up in Melbourne Australia when they landed in Melbourne Australia they've been welcomed as a hero They've been treated as a savior of Australia, which is so nice, guys. What I like as well in this episode is that Lecky end up meeting Sally. Now, Sally is part of the first generation Greek immigrant family in Australia. Now, what I don't like at the last part of their encounter is that, oh, I don't, I think Sally doesn't want to break the hearts of her family basically because she thinks eventually Lecky will die in the war so which is not nice you know Lecky needs inspiration so I just don't like that part but anyway what the what I, another one that I like as well is Captain Barcelona he was awarded as the Medal of Honor award which is a top class award in the military I think his family is so proud of him you know but eventually he'd been asked to return to United States to sell US war bonds now he probably go there for support to win the support of the Americans at the same time to get more supplies for the troops against the Japanese tyranny guys if you like to follow me on social media please use the link which should be on your screen now so thank you again and I'll see you next time but in the meantime, bye for now. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best. Here.